So approximately 2 million people have an out of date driving license and there's a fine of up to a thousand pounds if it's not renewed. So get it checked now. If you're wondering how, look no further. Well, look no further than the comments below because it's there. Welcome back to the Josh Ramwell Show. Can I just say, it's a pleasure to have you here. If you're still watching, I'm guessing it's either because you want to renew your driving license and to figure out how, or you're wondering why the hell I'm filming myself walking the dogs. And I'll be honest, there's no reason for that. But here we go anyway. So driving license renewals have restarted since the dreaded shh, coronavirus. So it's really worth checking your driving license now. If you're in the UK, it is a legal requirement to have your photo on your driving license renewed every 10 years. You can tell this from the expiry date on the actual license. You will, however, receive a renewal letter through the post between a month or two months before the actual date. Now, I will admit, it is an annoying £14 to have to renew your license, or if you do it by post, £17, but it does beat the £1,000 fine you'll receive if you don't renew your license. Check the link below or join the Discord to find out any more information about that. Now you can renew your driving license online if you have a UK passport. Now if you need to renew your driving license because you're over 70, there is a different method for that. Or if you need to renew a five year bus or lorry license, there is also a different method if you're renewing a medical license. Again, comment or join the Discord, I'll help you more with that. Now if you have a look at my driving license, there are a number of dates, so this can be a little bit confusing. The one you need to tell you when your driving license runs out is section 4B. This is the date when your photo license needs to be renewed. Now, if you have a look at my driving license there, you'll see my Hillbilly Hills Have I style photo. I honestly don't look like that anymore. Lucky for me, my license needs renewing in two years time. Now, there are a number of dates on the photo card, so it can get a little bit confusing. So the one that you need to tell if your license is going to expire is the one under section 4B. If anyone's wondering why, as you can tell from my photo, 10 years is quite a long time. I've got a lot more gray hair and people can look very different over 10 years. This is why you have to renew your license every 10 years. Crikey, look at that gray hair. Luckily, my wife says I'm like a fine wine. I get better with age. So next, how to renew your license. Whether you're renewing your license, whether you're replacing a lost or stolen license, there are three ways to apply. The first one, you can apply online at the .gov website. This is in the description below, but you can also check on Discord by joining the community. This is also the one we're going to focus on because with modern technology, it's the most likely one that people are going to use. The other option, by post. You can get forms, also known as the D1 pack, from any post office or directly from the DVLA. You can order these on the DVLA website if you'd like to. Finally, the last way, in person. Now you can do this at selected post office. The post office does however charge £4.50. This is to take your photo and this is on top of the £17 fee for actually renewing your license. This does however include the postage fee for your application to the DVLA. Let's actually have a look how you physically apply online. Well, you're gonna to wanna to start off with a nice simple typing in Google of how to renew your driving license. When you press enter, this is what you should see. Now you're looking for the www.govwebsite.uk. Click on that link and you'll be brought to this website. Here we have the .gov website that we all know and love. Now, if you are here to renew your driving license just because it's run out after 10 years or it was lost or stolen, then here we just scroll down to the bottom. Then we click on the renew online, start now and we are brought to this website. Now, as you can see here, it already tells you do not use the back and forward buttons on your browser. Don't touch the refresh or anything like that because you will just mess up your whole application. Only use the cancel and next buttons that are actually on this website and part of this website. If they're not part of the website, don't press them. Now, all we have to do here is follow this simple process. So we start off by clicking next and next again, and we're brought to the first part. Now, all you have to do here is fill in your details. I'm not going to go any further with this because I'm sure you know what your first and second name is along with your date of birth. For this though, as you can see on the left, you do need to make sure that you know the person's national insurance number if you're doing this for someone else. If you're doing it for yourself, make sure you know your national insurance number and make sure you have your UK passport. If you don't have a UK passport, you cannot do this online application. As you can see here, it's a very simple process. After you've done the application, you'll make a payment and ta-da, you've applied for your next driving license. 
So now we have some of the most popular questions related to the driving license. First one, how much does it cost? Good question. Though your driving license needs to be renewed every 10 years up to the age of 70, at which point it will need to be renewed every three years. However, if you only need to update your name or address on the license, this is completely free, along with updating it when you hit 70. However, this does not renew your driving license, so you still will need to pay to update your driving license within the 10 year period. What I'm trying to say is if you change your name or address on your driving license after five years, you will still need to renew your driving license in another five years or at the age of 70, whichever is first. Now there is no limit to the number of times you can change your name or address on your driving license every time it is completely free. When applying for a new driving license, however, this does cost £14 if, you're do if it's done online or £17 if it's done at the post office or in person. Now your new license should arrive within three weeks or if you've applied online, it should arrive, dare I say, in a week. However, with what's going on, the coronavirus, etc., it's likely to take a little bit longer. So how long before the, your license expires do you need to renew? Well, you should get a reminder, as I mentioned previously, at least a month or two months before it actually expires. So this would be the best date for your license to be renewed. It is worth noting your new license is valid from the date of application, not from the date of expiry. This means if your license expires and you have not put in a renewal, you are therefore not legally able to drive. Next question, if my photo card has expired, will I be fined when I apply for a new one? Well, the good news is renewing late doesn't prompt a fine. Well, the good news is renewing late doesn't prompt a fine if your license has already expired. However, the DVLA does say you should not be driving until you have completed your driving license application. Next question, can I drive while waiting for my new driving license? Well, the DVLA says, if your driving license expires while they are processing your new driving license application, you can, I repeat, can continue to drive as long as you meet certain criteria. This includes only driving vehicles that you were able to drive on your previous driving license. You must not also have been told by a doctor or any other medical professional that you are unsafe or unfit to drive, and you must not have been disqualified from driving. You can find more info at the .gov website. Now I know this one sounds crazy, but make sure your address is correct on your driving license. If you are stopped by the police, you can risk a fine of up to a thousand pounds for having the wrong address on your driving license. You can easily update this on the .gov website. And as I mentioned before, there is no, and as I mentioned before, there is no limit to the number of times you can do this. It is also worth mentioning, you can also now change the address on your vehicle logbook online or as well. This is important because if you end up with, dare I say, a speeding fine and it's registered to the wrong address, that doesn't make it disappear. That just means when it ends up in court, you're going to end up with a lot more points and a lot bigger fine. The third and final check is to make sure your name and gender are still correct on your driving license in case you have recently changed them or you're getting married, for instance. That is it for the driving license. However, a bit of quick information about driving in Europe. Now, it's worth noting since Brexit, they did, there was talk of requiring a driving permit. However, that has actually been changed that there is no need for a driving permit in most cases when driving in Europe. Now, there are two scenarios where you may need a driving permit when going abroad. If your driving permit, no, if your driving license was issued by Guernsey, Gibraltar, Jersey, or the Isle of Man, in which case you need to check with the embassy of the country you're planning to visit. The other issue is if you still have a paper driving license, in which case, again, you will need to check with the embassy of the country you are visiting. Or, here's a better option, upgrade to a photo license. In case you're wondering about the different sections on the driving license, I thought I'd just very quickly talk you through each section. So as I'm sure you can tell, section one and two are actually your first and second and middle names. Section three is going to be the date of birth. 4A is when you last had your driving license. Section 4A is when your license was last issued. 4B is when your license expires and is going to need to be renewed. 4C is obviously who gave you your license in the UK, DVLA. Section 5 is your driving license number. Don't ask where section 6 is because I don't have one. Section 6, section six is actually your photo, although it's not marked. 7 is obviously your driving license signature. 8 is your address, make sure it's up to date. Section nine is actually your categories of what you're able to drive. For instance, my license shows that I cannot drive a big lorry. 
You can also tell more about this if you turn your license over. The back of the license will show you in a bit more clearly what vehicles you can drive and what vehicles you cannot. If you feel like I've missed anything or you'd like me to add a bit more or do another video on anything else, feel free to get in touch, leave a comment, join the Discord. That is it for today on this chapter of the Josh Ramwell Show. If you liked it, like the video, if you want to sub, sub the video. If you want to join the Discord, press the join button in the Discord below in the description. See you soon.